When modern women say they're strong and independent, what do you think of? Sure, you, you might think of them meditating inside a cave, going solo for ages and living off grid, right? None of that though, I was being sarcastic. These women never go solo or embrace their alone time to go within, improve themselves and become somebody. Well, what can you expect of women who think they're valuable just for having a specific pair of chromosomes? In today's world, for women, the strong and independent badge is almost like an achievement better than making millions of dollars. They claim that they don't need men at all, and even mock men because they say they're useless creatures. Check this out. Do you think men are important? Well, I'm not like for what? <laughs> <laughs> you said, how do you, what do you, how do you feel about men? Are men important? Are men important? Yeah, and you I said, said for what? For what? For okay. what? Like, would we, would you need one? To, to, would you need to marry at this stage of your life? Well, I mean, it's it's not that I wouldn't want to do that. If I met the right man, I would certainly entertain the idea. I like men a lot. I mean, I have nothing against them. I think they're great. You know, this is going to get me in trouble with all the women, but I think that women make really, they make unreasonable demands on men, and they don't make reasonable demands of themselves. I you mean, think that, what's that mean? Because I think women have the capability to do everything that they want to do, anything that they want to do, and it's easier to try to get it know, out of a get guy. it out of a guy. You have to you have to be who you are. You have to find your your unique potential, and you can't get it out of someone else. All the girls laughed when Cher said, "Like for what?" But once she detailed the scene and brought out the inner contents as what it is, all of a sudden. Quietness filled the studio and tension overflowed the ambiance. Not all women have that love of consciousness though. In today's video, we're delving into modern women's fake strength and independence, and most importantly, why this is really making them single and unhappy while men thrive without these tricks. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Chris Electrician. Hey, shout out to you for providing value to society. Firstly, if you are an electrician, he said, they don't want to struggle together. They want their pie and cake up front. Hitting the nail on the head, a lot of these women want handouts and freebies at our expense, but jump ship the second things go south. And unfortunately for them, men aren't having it anymore. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love. For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever. The internet fools people more often than not. If you've ever watched the first few seconds, it might shock you that she really meant the complete opposite. This ain't about idolizing her because, in all honesty, she said something that anyone with common sense believes. Your strength and potential come from within, and you shouldn't give a damn about external validation. What about modern women though? They do rely on just that to feel good about themselves. It's not like they've discovered their true worth after meditating in the Himalayas for years, going to church or knowing God. In fact, these modern women only worship their feelings and even worse, the idea of getting attention from men. That's the real fuel behind their actions, even though they try to make you think otherwise. You know how it goes, don't you? Modern women wear their strength and independence like a badge of honor, as if they've uncovered some secret formula for adulting that the rest of us are oblivious to. They feel as if they've won a Nobel Prize or discovered the cure to all diseases on Earth. Well, more often than not, these modern women who don't need no man are the ones spreading AIDS. But that's a whole nother conversation. 
In recent years, it seems like these chicks want to be known for their strength and independence. They wear these qualities all day long as if they've stumbled upon the elixir of life or uncover the cure for all diseases on Earth. But what's truly intriguing about this phenomenon is the way they take something that should be inherently personal and turn it into a public performance. Just take a look at Cardi B, Kim Kardashian, or Anita. Check this out. One of my manners. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because I have in each different city. I'm traveling a lot. <laughs> oh my God! You are Anita. So, don't you listen? It's a lot of countries. Well, I was yesterday in Brazil. Day before I was in LA. I gotta have options. So one of my men. <laughs> I love I love using lubricant. Mm -hmm. Love it. And some guys think it's because they're not doing a good job. Shut the fuck up. It's just more. Pleasing. Yes, if you use lubricant. I go like this. First of all, I go like this. Mm -hmm. This is one movement, and then you're gonna do something. There's something you can do that they're not gonna understand what you're doing. You could tell him to close his eyes. You're gonna hold here in the bottom, and you're gonna do this with the hands like this. You go down and circle. Down a circle, down a circle, and then you go up and down, up, and you do this, but up and down, up and down, and you do this, boom, 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 and you do this, open and close, open and close, because then you're gonna switch the pressure on it, and you're gonna be like, what is she doing though? Strength and independence are admirable traits for sure, but there's no need to tell your sexual expertise. They should be intrinsic qualities that guide one's life, not boastful proclamations to garner attention, which, in reality, is what modern women are all about. Let's keep it a thousand. It's as though they believe that by shouting their strength and independence from the rooftops, they'll somehow become stronger and more independent. But in reality, true strength and independence are quiet, steadfast companions that don't need to be constantly paraded around for validation. Think of men like David Goggins, a man who was obese back in the day, but had the balls to get over his situation, get strong, and nowadays, he makes a ton of money by helping people fix their mentality. No chicks, no hookup culture, no how to please a woman in bed, no nothing. Real self-improvement. Modern women think they bring value to the world by showing how independent they are, but then do what's in their power to showcase their bedroom skills are not independent at all. They're slaves of attention. And the worst part? The women who follow these bad wives, I mean terrible chicks, get played, have dysfunctional relationships, and end up lonely and single. Only cats and plants will enjoy their nurturing nature, if at all. Perhaps part of this trend stems from the desire to break free from societal expectations and stereotypes. Women, they believe, have often been pigeonholed into certain roles and expectations throughout history. So, when they do achieve financial stability or personal success, they want to celebrate it. But hey, for men, that's nothing but the bare minimum. There's a fine line between celebrating one's accomplishments and turning them into a performance for the world to see. Moreover, it's essential to remember that strength and independence come in various forms. It's not just about financial success or career achievements, it's also about emotional maturity, the ability to navigate life's challenges gracefully, and the capacity to stand on one's own two feet when necessary. Here's the question though, do modern women have the ability to achieve any of that? Not at all. Women used to work in agriculture and even take care of big families. And on top of that, they made an effort to make the relationships work and please their husbands. These days though, modern women work comfy jobs or even worse, live off the alimony paid by their exes. And what about their families? They're only guided by their own feelings. So, if they don't feel like they love their men anymore, even if there are kids involved, they're free to move on, get half of the man's money, and get a chad. Independence? Nah, that's cap. Strength and independence, as you know for a fact, is not about having all the answers or being impervious to difficulties. It's about finding the inner resolve to keep moving forward, even when the path is unclear. That's what masculinity is all about, and if women can't even cooperate, they can go ahead and meet men who are just interested in their bodies. You, 
as a man, deserve way more than a hot chick with evident bad behavior. While it's undoubtedly important to acknowledge and celebrate personal victories, it's equally important to do so with humility and authenticity, which modern women don't even have. True strength and independence don't need validation from others, nor do they require constant affirmation. Instead, they manifest in everyday actions and decisions in the way one faces adversity and rises above it. Again, 99.9% .9 of masculine men know this by heart and live up to this. So, modern women who proudly proclaim their strength and independence for all to see can't even remember that the most powerful demonstrations of these qualities are often the quietest ones. They don't need fanfare or applause, they simply exist as a testament to character and power. Being overly independent. Now hold on, because I know some of y'all are already feeling some kind of way. Because the word independent or independent woman, it, it hits y'all. And you're asking, well, what in the world is wrong with being independent? Shouldn't that be respected and loved? Listen, any man with genuine intentions won't take issue with your ability to do so. However, if he's a good man, he wants to love you. And in a desire to love you, he wants to provide, he wants to do things for you. And when you are overly independent, you are cutting off his ability to give you love. You are choking his ability to feel valued in the relationship. And here's the funny part. These girls, these strong, independent women, essentially become the man that they wanted in the first place. Ooh. They become a boss babe, they make this money, they become successful. And what women don't understand is, when you become a boss babe and you make money and you become successful, what ends up happening is you take on masculine tendencies, you take on masculine traits. And guess what happens when you meet a guy that's actually masculine that meets a masculine woman? Clash. Yeah, it's a clash. And not only that, a guy like me, if I meet a chick that's like a boss babe or whatever, I put her in the sex only category. And here's the scary part, she'll never know it. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Modern women seemingly endless bragging about being perfectly healthy. It's almost comical how they act like this is some remarkable achievement. I mean, sure, we all appreciate good health, but it's not as if they've cracked the code to immortality. Well, in reality, by posting their sex tapes or nudes online, they do. That's not something to be proud of. Now, back to health, they're just lucky or maybe they've taken care of themselves, which, to be fair, is what most of us aim to do. Or not. I mean, these modern women often engage in vices and do things to showcase they can be hot as hell no matter what they do, but menopause and nature itself don't lie. A woman's desirability or the firmness of her attributes is not perpetual. It is what it is. Women age like milk and men age like fine wine. Nothing personal, it's just the rule of nature. Next up, is their incessant need to showcase their financial accomplishments. Wow, you make money! Welcome to being an adult. Anyway, they'll parade around like peacocks, flaunting their car, house, and job as if they've achieved the unattainable. But here's the thing, folks. Owning a car, having a roof over your head, and holding down a job is pretty much the bare minimum for a functional adult in our society. It's not an achievement, it's a baseline expectation, especially for men. Most women don't even think twice before dumping a man who ain't got none of those things. But men are criminalized for wanting a woman who's not a boss babe, let alone an arrogant, insufferable chick. They'll drone on about their new car like they're the first person in history of the world to buy a vehicle. And their house? Well, newsflash, Karen, most people aspire to own property at some point in their lives. It's not a marker of strength or independence, it's a marker of financial stability. And let's not even get started on their job. They act like they're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, but in reality, they're just another working professional like the rest of us. They receive a paycheck in exchange for their time and effort, just like millions of others. There's no need to act like they've cracked the code of financial success. And guess what? Many modern women these days enjoy the privilege of quotas to get into certain positions. Equality, anyone? I mean, weren't we all equal before the law? Nah, the government is all about, the future is female, and all that jazz that hinders men's well-being and feeds women's egos. Now, what really takes the cake is their insistence that they've overcome immense challenges to become strong and independent. Seriously, 
It's as if they've watched too many Hollywood movies and decided to turn their mundane life into an epic saga. Sorry, but not having experienced abuse or extreme hardship doesn't make anyone a hero. It makes one fortunate. And look, abuse is a serious matter, but many women who have gone through that use men to heal themselves instead of going to therapy. Yet these women with a certain past dare to call themselves strong and independent. You know, while you, as a man, have to jump through hoops to get society's approval, a raise or a top-notch position, these women flex their so-called independence when all they've been through are tons of men. In particular, many of these modern women grew up in good neighborhoods, had access to quality education, and were surrounded by a loving, supportive family. On top of that, they've got running water and electricity. It's like they're trying to claim some sort of prize for being born into a stable environment. Good for them, don't get me wrong, but here's a reality check. Many people face adversity and still manage to become strong and independent. I refer to men who had to fight tooth and nail to overcome obstacles that our self-proclaimed hero can't even fathom. Just think of construction workers, farmers, and overall men who do the jobs that women don't want to do because they say it's a man's job. It's almost insulting to those who have genuinely faced adversity to hear someone trivialize the concept of strength and independence. Real strength comes from facing challenges head on, not from boasting about their privileged upbringing. But what's perhaps most infuriating about their constant bragging is that it diminishes the achievements of those who have truly overcome obstacles in life. Their insistence on highlighting their own strength and independence makes it seem like anyone who hasn't had to struggle in the same way is somehow less capable or less worthy. The truth is that strength and independence come in many forms. It's not just about overcoming adversity, it's about how you handle the everyday challenges of life. It's about adaptability and the ability to stand on your own two feet when necessary. Modern women might face challenges in the frame of a relationship, but you can guess what they do all the time. They try to fix it outside the relationship. Yeah, that's right. They cheat on the man with the dude whose performance in bed lives up to her expectations. Wow, these modern women are all about solving problems like mature adults, aren't they? I'm joking. You see, we experienced a single sexual revolution that reshaped the perception of the modern woman and made significant progress toward achieving so-called gender equality. However, there has been a notable absence of a second revolution aimed at redefining the role of the modern man in this evolving societal landscape. This situation has often left men in a perplexing position where they seem to be consistently in the wrong, regardless of how they choose to define or express themselves within the context of modern relationships. Whether a man embraces chivalry, taking care of and protecting his partner, he may be labeled as an outdated patriarch. Conversely, if he advocates for equality and expects his partner to share responsibilities, he may be seen as cold, uncaring, or even accused of having ulterior motives. Should he be open and emotionally expressive, he might be judged as weak while adopting a strong and stoic demeanor may lead to perceptions of emotional closure. The conventional roles of being a leader, provider, or support system for a partner are seen as outdated in contemporary society, and new roles have yet to be clearly defined. Opting for traditional roles can result in being labeled as an antiquated relic, a dinosaur, or even a sexist. On the other hand, embracing more nurturing, emotionally open, and caring roles may raise questions about one's masculinity. The reality is that there is no longer a single, universally accepted answer to the question of what defines a modern man's role in society. This ambiguity is one of the reasons I, like thousands of men, decided to stop dating. I have a clear understanding of who I am and the values I uphold, and I have grown weary of the contradictory messages suggesting that I am outdated for being strong and yet weak for expressing my emotions. Yeah, according to these modern women, men are useless. I hope they don't complain when men don't want to help them anymore. 
I love men. Like, I think men are the coolest, but I don't need them to survive. You do actually need men to survive. Everything that you see around you was built and created and maintained by men. Okay. Everything. The infrastructure in this country, in every single country in the world, is built, created, and maintained by good, honest, hardworking men that just want to provide for their family. Based. I don't think that there is like a thought between those eyes. Also, her quote about like, I don't need men to survive. That's literally a TikTok trend. That's not her sound. That's just coming from TikTok. She is literally trying to answer a question on a podcast from a TikTok. Somebody said, look at them. They're actually hearing this for the first time in their lives. Somebody else said she forgot who pays for her OnlyFans. Oh, I don't need a sensu for that one. Sorry, honey. You need the boys. Do we need men in your opinion? No, because they do nothing all day. Do we need men? No, like, we just sit there. Do we need men, in your opinion? Uh, no, because they're icky. Yeah, probably we don't need men to protect you from anything in the world, or, you know, invent virtually all the things in human history, or, you know, create these massive civilizations and economies. Probably, if they just disappeared overnight, that'd be great, and then there'd be no children also. You know, we need both women and men. I know, shocking, shocking. Think about when you go to a bar, who's supposed to buy women drinks? Men are. Do you see that as often as, like, years and years ago? All costs. I get all that, man. I to protect Even that, when blah, girls blah, blah. are fighting with each other, like, it is so ugly. It is the ugliest thing that there is men around and they're not doing anything. But why do you think men don't do that anymore? Because they used to do that before, but why do you think they don't do that anymore? They stopped doing that. Why do you think you're a man? <laughs> you tell me. First of all, good uh -huh. question. The reason I think, man, we don't do it anymore because you guys don't respect us anymore. Okay. Second, you guys don't need us anymore. I don't need a man. I'm a strong woman, independent. You are independent, you're strong. What do you need me for? What do you complain to me not protecting when you already have everything that you want? I'm a bo What do you need me for? So, here's to our self-proclaimed strong and independent modern women who thinks they're living a life worthy of a Hollywood script. They can keep on basking in their mediocrity and let the rest of us men continue being strong and independent for real, without the need to constantly announce it to the world. In the grand scheme of things, their boasting is nothing more than a reminder that sometimes the loudest voices are the ones with the least to say. While they may continue to proclaim their strength and independence, the rest of us will quietly go about our lives secure in the knowledge that our actions speak louder than empty words. That's right, that's what masculinity is all about. Stay strong guys, as always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.